Thank you for joining us today on another installment of Frost and Sullivan's exciting podcast series highlighting key disruptive technologies, growth opportunities, economic trends, new business models, industry convergence, emerging geographies and much more. I am Rohit, senior research analyst with the Industrial team, and I'll be talking about how the DCS market is set for a paradigm shift due to the digitization in the end user industries and also analyze the future impact of this shift on the market. It is really fascinating to know that the DC systems are evolving to be open, secure and interoperable which is in turn enabling the end user industries such as oil and gas, power etc to overcome the challenge of a single vendor lock-in. This is mainly driven by the open process automation initiative of ExxonMobil which is one of the leading American multinational oil and gas corporations. The research captures the impact of trends that are expected to occur over the upcoming years as companies especially oil and gas, power and petrochemicals shift their strategies to prepare for the future. This DCS research provides a detailed overview of market share and competitive analysis for geographical regions industry verticals, system size, and revenue segments. The global DCS market experienced a growth of around 1.4% in 2018 as a result of recovery in investment in end-user industries such as oil and gas and chemicals. An increasing focus on improving the process flexibility, reducing time to market and lowering operational expenses has shifted the value proposition of DCS from hardware to software solution. There is an increasing demand for solutions such as digital twins and product lifecycle management that facilitate real-time information management across the enterprise which is through the entire value chain. One of the key challenges that the market is witnessing is the lack of new pricing models. Major vendors are still selling the hardware on a contract basis, where the customer owns the solution for a given period of time till the next upgrade. With rapidly evolving pricing models in other segments of the automation market, customers are seeking more pricing options in using a DCS, such as the value-based pricing, subscription and pay-as-you-go. The DCS market is on its way to achieve rapid growth as service opportunities from existing installations and greenfield expansion in developing regions pick up. Vendor's ability to capitalize on the growth opportunities will depend on how quickly and effectively they can respond to changes so as to best meet the customer demands. It becomes important for vendors to realize that end users might wish to use the technology in their existing systems in order to avoid operation downtimes. On that note, I hope you have enjoyed this session. Please join us for future podcasts and become a member of Frost & Sullivan's Leadership Council by emailing us at digital at frost.com. Thank you for your time.